Hello out to all you wonderful people, this is Andre the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for joining me for another Pitch for Switch discussion. And this I'm going to be talking about Pandora's Tower, which was another fantasy RPG game that was out on the Wii. And it is the third game to the Project Rainfall initiative that was started in order to get Xenoblade Chronicles, The Last Story, and again Pandora's Tower localized to the U.S., to the Western market in the U.S., Again, these are these are games that this is a game that was fun. It was interesting. I mean, I can't remember exactly the story to this game because this I I literally think I only really played the first hour or so into it. Again, borrowed. Well, I borrowed. This is the same time as I borrowed the last story, so I really didn't get to play back and forth between these games. But this is another game that you could play with the Wii Remote and Nunchuck, and then also play it with the classic controller for the Wii. And it got re-released on the Wii U on the eShop. Uh, I think also Pandora's Tower did too, and I know Xenoblade Chronicles did. But <clears throat> the game's action role-playing, um, you're playing through like this massive fortress, which is Pandora's Tower itself. I think it was called the 13 Towers in the game. Um... I don't really remember much of this game. I just remember, like, I, the gameplay was fun, but I didn't get far into the game myself. I just remember playing it. I was like, "Dang, this is again." This is one of those. This is one of those where it's like this was a technical achievement for the Wii, but like because the world itself was very impressive on that machine. And I would love for them to add in stuff that works well with, like, you know the switch like stuff that would take and utilize the uh hd rumble very well or set it up so that you can possibly do some sort of um i'm forgetting the word here but like something where you can uh share stuff from the game for other well i guess you can already do that with the switch itself as it is you can kind of share your gameplay but like even though it's not a lot but you can share it on social media and stuff like that i would really like to see this happen because again this is one of those games that people cried cried out for and it, it did get localized because of that because there was a massive enough movement for it and i'm pretty sure if nintendo went to ganbarian and a I, be, I believe this house pronounces either Gambarian or Gonbarian or something like that. They could go to them and say, hey, look, we want to have you work with one of our teams and remaster this game so that we can put it out on the Switch. Because I, I believe Nintendo actually might own the rights to it. I'm not certain. But either way, this was one of those games that just it was unique enough along with the other two games that were part of the project rainfall movement it it was amazing for what it was and i could see like a remastered version of that world captivating a lot of people and again the switch is highly popular it's selling very well and like almost anything that is put on this platform does extremely well so to me, it's like it's a it's a win win situation, especially for Nintendo if they're if they're the ones that have exclusivity to this game. Anyway, it's a win win for them. So I would love to see this happen. To be fully honest, I would love to see this happen and see how how much stuff they could actually add to the game along with remastering it. Because I don't really think that they have to really do all the voice work and stuff all over. They might need to boost the sound quality to it. But they don't have to redo all of it. Because from what I remember. The same thing with uh, the last story in Xenoblade Chronicles. The voice acting in the game was actually very well done. They might have to work on the lip syncing and stuff. Because you know those games had those issues. But again. The game itself was very well done. And and I would love to see them add in stuff like possibly like a director's commentary and stuff like that. Things that people didn't get to know about these games like that could be interesting tidbits and stuff for the geeks in us that want to know more. But I don't really want to drag this one out too much so I'm going to end it here. Again I just want to see Pandora's Tower put out on the Switch because I think this is a game that's deserving of extra attention. And even though the Wii was highly popular during its time, games like this 
being toward the end of the life cycle of the Wii, really didn't get the same type of attention. But that's it. Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears off for more stuff from me. And until the next time, enjoy your games. Peace out.